three different cameras over three different days. Day one, I'm out, and the first camera today is the Fuji Film Finepix F440. It's one of my dream cameras, and I got very lucky because I got it for a good price. Because these go on eBay for a stupid price, about eighty pound, and I say stupid price. None of them are in immaculate condition, and this one just feels absolutely crispy mint. I'm not gonna lie, I took a couple of uh, test photos indoors and it looks like it's got a hot pixel or a stuck pixel, but that was only in the low light photo. So hopefully being out and about, the photographs won't have that there. So I'm doing today, tomorrow I think I'm gonna to go to the beach, and then day three I'm gonna to go to another random town, and obviously you'll find out what the other cameras are as the video progresses. So I hope you enjoy this one, let's go. So I hope you enjoyed the F440. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video just about this camera and the other camera separately, but we've got two other cameras to use. I'm thinking about going to the beach tomorrow, so hopefully the weather holds out and I can take you guys to the beach with the next camera. So, see you soon. Just a brief few words on the F40 yesterday. I really enjoyed it. I love the form factor. It almost feels like a square and it's just perfect to put in your pocket. It's smaller than a wallet or a cigarette box or something, so it's perfect for that. Um, the reason why I was shooting in portrait in, as well is because I wanted to upload to Instagram because I feel like I've neglected that a little bit. But hey-ho, um, we don't always want to comply with the rules of social media. I'm now at the extremely windy beach. I wasn't expecting it to be this windy, but nonetheless, we're going to take a little walk, and today, today's camera, <laughs> feels like I'm on a game show or something, host of a show, host of the Camera Nostalgia Club, today's camera is the Konica Minolta Dimage X60. So as you can see, it's extremely windy, but I am at the seaside. I'm just going to walk around the camera, show some example shots, maybe some video footage, and we'll see how it goes. So I hope you enjoy this part. Let's go. Absolutely windy. Windy at the seaside. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I really do enjoy making this content and using the old cameras. If you know me from TikTok and Instagram, you'll know I upload really regularly there. But as my YouTube page is growing, and I thank all of you for that, I'd like to ask if you want to support me, you can buy me a coffee or you can just subscribe. It is free to subscribe below, press the button, helps me out, and then I can make more of these videos, explore more places and use more cameras. 
If there's a particular camera or anything you'd like me to make a video about, just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thank you for supporting me. It really means the world. Thank you. Anyway, day three, camera free. Today, I'm using a Sony Cybershot. I feel like I haven't used one on the channel for a while, so I thought I'd whack one in this video. And today I'm using the S2000. It's from the year 2010. I believe it was a World Cup promotion type item because you can actually buy a World Cup version. And I'm pretty sure when I got this one, it came in the World Cup box. But there's no like um, significant things to tell you that it's to do with football, the World Cup. It's just from that year, obviously. As you can see in the distance, I've come for a nice little countryside walk on day three. It's an old castle, so I'm just going to walk up and walk around. Obviously, I'm going to show examples of the photos and videos from day three. So I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. Let's get going. Well, the coolest thing just happened, that picture of the tractor, I thought it was just the perfect shot and I was a little bit far away. So I had to run and I'm absolutely certain that the tractor stopped for me because I took a few and I was waiting for him to get perfectly in between the two arches of the brickwork and I'm certain he stopped for me. So I waved and said thank you anyway and he's quite far away. So shout out to the farmer. Going for a walk with the Sony. It's quite a cool camera actually. I remember using this a couple of years ago and the photos look very 2000, so hopefully you're enjoying it so far. Nice and sunny today. Nice and sunny. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm gonna leave the specs of each of the cameras above right now. I'm possibly thinking about doing a separate video on the Konica and the Fuji film. The Sony's great, don't get me wrong, but the other two just have that little bit of charm that I enjoy. If you do enjoy this content and you like the old cameras, I will be uploading more videos and going to more places around the UK if you're interested in that side of it. Bit of geography. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a sub and see you in the next one. Au revoir.